So today's vlog is going to have a theme. We're going to talk about plant-based diet. Tablecloth is so warm. Are you wrapped in a tablecloth? Yeah, it's warm. Just took it under the dryer. Okay, plant-based diet's the theme today. So, thumbs up, thumbs down. All right, would you say it's life-changing? Definitely. So we have actually been, well, no, Rochelle's been plant-based a little bit longer than I have, but just got out my notebook. I have officially been plant-based since August 15th. Been plant-based for eight months. So plant-based, what is plant-based? All right, let's uh, go to our expert. Plant Ow! That hurt. <laughs> what did you do? I almost cut myself with trying to rip this thread off. I just about lost my finger. So what is plant-based? Well, it's whole foods plant-based diet is eating basically plants. I mean, it's not much different than vegan, except for vegan can be quite unhealthy. So we just eat whole foods, fruits, vegetables, like nuts, seeds, pretty much anything that grows in the ground. And we don't eat anything that comes from something that has a face or a mother, <laughs> except for we eat honey, which, you know, whatever. So how has it benefited me? Um, feel much better. I've lost, since going plant-based, I've lost an additional 18 pounds. Now this is after I've lost over 30 pounds just by not eating processed foods, not eating really unhealthy foods that I shouldn't be eating anyway. Maybe I should show you a little bit of what at one time when I was at my heaviest. And now I'm the same size I was when I started college, playing basketball, university. And the best thing is I could find pants at the mall. I no longer have to shop at the big and tall store. I'm still tall, just not as big. All right, Rochelle, favorite cookbook? Um, probably Plant Power Way by Rich Roll and Julie Pyatt. So you're saying Rich Roll, my friend Rich Roll? Um, your friend? Uh, I don't know if he's your friend. I call Rich my friend because he replied to me on Snapchat. He actually gave me a thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, high five, high five, high five, plant, plant, plant. I would show you, but it's Snapchat, so it goes away. But believe me, so that, that's basically, we're like friends. I, we're pretty much friends. I could just ask Seth Godin or Rich Roll or Gary Vaynerchuk. Hey, they're all my friends. And all people Rob has stalked. <laughs> okay, if someone's gonna go plant-based, what would you recommend the first documentary they watch? Ooh, that's a good, good question. Probably Forks Over Knives. So, Rochelle, I've read most of his book and he's replied to me on Snapchat. So that makes us friends. That makes us friends. Sure. Yes. Dad, can you just put a little bit on? Because if you put a bunch on, then it makes it a hot. That's why it's called hot sauce. Okay. So, Luke, do you like the way we eat rice and beans and plants and fruits and vegetables and seeds and nuts? Did you record it? I did record it. Amazing. When these things are out and the Vitamix is out and the granola and the honey and the bananas out. What does this mean, Luke? What, what can this only mean? Show everybody how to make the cherry cacao smoothie bowl. It is amazing. So I put in a cup of water and then I put in chia seeds, put in two tablespoons of chia seeds, and two tablespoons of hemp hearts. This is cacao powder, not cocoa powder, but cacao powder. And cacao nibs. The reason cacao is different from cocoa powder is it's the unrefined version. So I'm gonna put in four tablespoons of the cacao nibs. 
And I'm going to add a couple more tablespoons of the cacao powder just because I'm making a really big quantity here. So that's two tablespoons of chia seeds, two tablespoons of hemp hearts, four of the cacao powder, and four tablespoons of the cacao nibs. And I always like to throw greens in anything that goes in the blender. It's an easy way to get more greens in your diet. It's a lot easier than chowing down on a bunch of salads all the time. So I'm gonna do, and this one, probably the equivalent of two handfuls of greens. The best part is organic cherries. We get them at Costco. Four cups of the cherries. I'm gonna fill this body mix right up to the top. This is a lot thicker than a smoothie's gonna be because you're putting it in a bowl and eating it like ice cream. You need a high powered blender like a Vitamix or a Blendtec or a conventional blender won't do the trick. So you pour it into a bowl, you can see how thick it is. Get your desired quantity into a bowl and then you can top with um, fruit. Uh, we like to do bananas, some homemade granola and we like to pour that on. And then to do it the true Hawaiian way, you gotta top it with some honey. This is organic raw honey from Costco. That's not open yet. Make sure it's organic and raw. So it has the benefits of the raw honey instead of being pasteurized and killing off all the good stuff. And here is the cherry cacao smoothie bowl.